Hi, welcome to a2zknowledge.com. So today we are going to discuss about what is stream processing. In data world and data processing world, we have two types of processing, batch and stream. So in this video, I'm going to explain you predominantly about what is stream processing. And I have already given a video difference between batch and stream. And that link I have shared in the description box of this video. You can have a look. So what is stream processing? So before we get into what is stream processing, I just wanted to explain you something. What is the general data flow with respect to processing? Okay, so you are sending an input to application. Application can be anything. It can be an e-commerce website or it can be a uh, banking website. You send an input. So once you are sending an input to your application, in backend what will happen? Okay, so it will be get stored in a database and then it will be get processed whenever it is required. Okay, so this is a general understanding for all of us, right? Okay, so this model we call it as batch processing. We call this model as batch processing. Then what is stream? Okay, so the same flow we can take. You are sending an input to an application and now the data that you are sending to an application will be get processed first and then it will be get stored. Right, so this we call it as stream processing. So that means your data doesn't have a landing before processing. Right, your data has a landing only after processing. Okay, let's get some example. So uh, before getting into an example, stream processing is otherwise called as real-time processing or uh, we call it as an uh, live processing, live data processing. Okay, now we can get into the example. So uh, if you are going for some stores and you are buying some products and then in the building section, you are giving your uh, debit card to swipe it in the debit card machine, right? So when you do that, when, when your card gets swiped in it, so what next thing happens? That's an input that you are giving for the application, that swipe machine. Internally, what happens is you are getting an SMS immediately saying that there has been swipe happen and this much amount has been debited from your data, from your account. That means it's streaming, it's live, right? So we used to say live video streaming, live streaming in YouTube and live cricket score telecasting, uh, cricket score update, live TV show. So something like that, the data is live. It won't have any landing. It will be first telecasted and then only like it will be get stored. So now the when you are swiping your debit card and immediately you are getting an SMS as something, we call it as a stream data processing. And then only your account will be get updated in the database. Now imagine, so you you you, you in the in the same store you have like ten customers and the ten customers are on the billing section and you all ten customers use the same account the same bank card and you all ten people are like within two to three minutes like uh, uh, randomly you are swiping the card so all these people they will get a SMS immediately at the point of time when they swipe it. Now imagine since you all 10 people belongs to the same bank as a customer. Now bank says no only after all 10 people swipe and then only I will be sending an SMS to all the customers in the store. Means it's 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 not like uh, uh, the proper one, right? So the bank has to send me the SMS immediately whenever I use a card. It should not be depends on someone else in the store. Since they are also using the same bank account, it's not like I have to wait until that guy complete his purchase. It's not like that. If that happens, then that is called batch processing. And from end of the month, you are getting the uh, 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 summary of your account details, right? So that is batch processing. Whatever that you have spent in the entire month or an entire week, at end of the week or end of the month, you are getting the summary. And that is called stream batch processing. It's not stream. So whenever you get a live processing, right? Live data as an output, which is called as stream processing. And um, uh, so what are all the stream processing framework that exist in market? Okay, I'll just explain you that with the big data frameworks. So in big data, we have three very familiar and uh, widely used stream processing framework, Spark. So Apache Spark uh, supports both batch and stream, but since it comes under stream, I'm just listing it here. And then Strom. So Strom is a technology like it was, uh, it was there even before Spark and it is very familiar and still now people are using it. And Strom is only streaming, it's, it won't support batch. And then Flink. So Flink is again a streaming technology. It supports only stream and in recent days Flink is getting very popular and these are all some of the top uh, uh, big data frameworks for streaming. And if you see uh, the, the, the one, one more thing I just wanted to tell you before I uh, complete my session. So if you take any batch processing the code what you have written 
will take an input it as a file or as a as a folder or something like that as a bulk as a batch so once the input has been processed the job what you have written will be get completed it won't be still running even after uh, your uh, input has been done completed but stream is not like that your data will be uh, means it will be in live and the code whatever you have written will be running 24 cross 7 whether the data whether the input is coming or not that is stream Imagine there is a cricket match is happening over there and whenever there is a new run happen then immediately an update will happen here right so imagine like that's that is actually a stream right so imagine my stream job is getting completed immediately when there is no input comes it's it should not be like that so stream should job should run always whether the input is coming or not if the input is coming it will give you the output or else it won't give the output but the job will be get running but but again this case can be customized but but th that depends on the framework okay so uh, i'll be uploading soon some of the uh, frameworks what i have listed here i'm going to teach you some of the frameworks whatever i have listed here but uh, stay tuned with my channel and with my playlist and i have given the complete playlist link of uh, this video series in my description box and thanks for watching it at knowledge.com if you really like my video please subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues i have shared my linkedin url and the instagram url in the description box if you want to follow me or if you want to connect with me please uh, go ahead and then through linkedin or instagram you can send an sms for me or message for me so thanks for watching at knowledge.com and please do subscribe my channel and we provide all tech videos in two languages english and tamil thanks for watching